can Rose get with one shiny gold nugget? The biggest, fattest hog in all of Texas. But what does Rose get with the biggest, fattest hog in all of Texas? A prickly problem, that's what. And who can help Rose with this prickly problem? Not a cold-hearted coyote. Not a persnickety snake. Not a contrary cowboy, but an armadillo full of attitude. Maybe Allison Jackson and Keith Graves bring to life a tip-top Texas tale sure to tickle your funny bone. Well, tickle your tail feathers and start your stirrups, because you're in for a top-notch Texas flavored treat. This book's dedicated to all the pig farmers out there in West Texas who do such a wonderful job with those noble and sensitive beasts. Desert Rose and her highfalutin hog by Allison Jackson, illustrated by Keith Graves. Out yonder where the scalding Texas sun meets the Guadalupe Mountains. There once lived a gritty pig farmer by the name of Desert Rose. Desert Rose was fixing to muck out the pig stalls one day when she came upon a solid gold nugget just to lie there in the mud. Hot butter beans! Rose exclaimed, I'll mosey on into town with this here gold nugget and buy me the biggest, fattest hog in all of Texas. Then I can win first prize at the state fair in Laredo. When she got to town, Desert Rose did indeed pick out the biggest, fattest hog in all of Texas and she gladly parted with her shiny gold nugget. In her hurry to get to the fair, Rose decided to take a shortcut. Soon she came upon a bubbling creek, but her hog would not set one foot in that gurgling water. Desert Rose sat down and thought for a moment then she had herself a fine notion. Hog, hog, drink up all the water or I'll miss the state fair in Laredo. I ain't thirsty, huffed the hog. Stubborn as a Texas mule. And then he plopped himself down on the bank. Well, tickle my tail feathers, cried Desert Rose. You are one highfalutin hog. Rose took a gander round and spied a coyote asleeping in the shade. Coyote, coyote, nip that hog. Hog won't drink water and I'll miss the state fair in Laredo. Too tired complained the coyote. Well, bite my boots, cried Desert Rose. You are one cold-hearted coyote. Rose sifted through the sand and spied a snake rattling its way down a long slender hole. Snake, snake, wake that coyote. Coyote won't nip that hog, and hog won't drink water, and I'll miss the state fair in Laredo. Too hot, snapped the snake. Well, bust my breeches, cried Desert Rose. You are one persnickety snake. Rose searched high and low, then spied a cowboy a riding and a romping in his neckerchief and spurs. Cowboy, cowboy, spur that snake. Snake won't wake coyote, and coyote won't nip hog, and hog won't drink water, and I'll miss the state fair in Laredo. 
afraid of snakes, countered the cowboy. Well, starch my stirrups, cried Desert Rose. You are one contrary cowboy. Rose studied the cowboy's bronco a sagging and a sinking under his saddle. Bronco, bronco, fuck that cowboy. Cowboy won't spur snake. Snake won't wake coyote. Coyote won't nip hog. Hog won't drink water. And I'll miss the state fair in Laredo. Bad back, bellowed the bronco. Well, chop my chaps, cried Desert Rose. You are one bothersome bronco. Rose scoured the skyline and spied a genuine Texas longhorn steer lying lazy like in the black eyed Susans. Longhorn, longhorn, chase that bronco. Bronco won't buck. Cowboy, cowboy won't spur snake, snake won't white coyote, coyote won't nip hog, hog won't drink water, and I'll miss the state fair in Laredo. Lame leg, lamented the longhorn. Well, pickle my pistols, cried Desert Rose. You are one lethargic longhorn. Rose surveyed the desert and spied a mangy armadillo moving just as slow as you please through a crusty crop of cacti. This particular armadillo was chock full of nothing but mean armadillo attitude. Well, after all that had passed, what did Desert Rose have to lose? Looking that armadillo beast right in the eyes, she said, Mr. Armadillo, sir, I'm plumb tuckered out. Won't you please dig under that longhorn? Longhorn won't chase Bronco. Bronco won't buck cowboy. Cowboy won't spur snake. And snake won't weigh coyote, and coyote won't nip hog, and hog won't drink water, and I'll miss the state fair in Laredo. That armadillo blinked at Desert Rose. What's in it for me, he drawled. Now, Desert Rose hadn't been fixing to give anything to the greedy varmint. But at least, she answered, if my hog wins first prize, I'll bring back 200 pounds of ants, beetles, and grubs for ya. Cross my heart. The armadillo tipped his narrow head at Rose. I reckon I can dig under that longhorn a spell, he said. And with those words, the armadillo began to dig under the longhorn. The longhorn began to chase the bronco. The bronco began to buck the cowboy. The cowboy began to spur the snake. The snake began to wake the coyote. The coyote began to nip the hog. And the hog drank all the water in that bubbling creek. Ooh-wee! Whoop Desert Rose. You are one thirsty hog. Then the whole lot of them set off, with Desert Rose leading the pack, and they made it to the state fair in Laredo with only minutes to spare. Sure enough, that highfalutin hog won first prize at the fair. And true to her promise, Rose hauled back a Texas-sized helping of ants beetles and grubs, 200 pounds of them. But every year when it comes time to take her prize winning haul to the state fair in Laredo, Rose always takes the long road out of town, just in case.
Well, goodness me, I sure hope you enjoyed story time with Lorelai and our Texas size tail. Don't forget to click like and share this video and watch for others. Y'all have a good day now. Bye.